I want to ask the people of Kenya, and especially my good brother, the president of Kenya, Mr. President, please, you have tormented us. You have created hell for the last five years for us. We am requesting you, Mr. President, even if you don't want to support our cause, we appreciate that you have a project called Kitendawili. But please, do not cause this country to go into conflict. The night meetings you are having, the meetings you are having to incite people against us and against other Kenyans is a great disservice. The threats you have said, you have told us we will know who you are. My good brother, we went to the polls to elect you as president. You don't have to threaten us. Please, Mr. President, we are asking you with a lot of respect. Threats against members of the provincial administration. The threats you are giving us against other Kenyans is actually the language of dictators and despots. That is the language beneath a democratically elected president. We want to ask you respectfully, let us not go the route of dictatorship. Let us not go the route of despots. We elected you as a democratic president, and the next president will be elected in a democratic election. We want to ask you respectfully, please, my good friend, Mr. President, let us not drive a narrative. Let us not go the direction of intimidating and blackmailing the provincial administration, the chiefs, to manipulate the election and cause conflict. That will be below what every Kenyan expects of a democratically elected president in Kenya. We expect you to be above board. We expect you to lead the way in making sure that his election is free of violence and free of conflict and free of unnecessary contestation. Kenyans, to cause conflict, to force the provincial administration to take sides against their oath of office is, is not only undemocratic, it is, uh, it is not fair, and I want to tell you it is against the law. Let the provincial administration, like all other Kenyans, make independent choices. Iyo siyo language ya rais ambaye amechaguliwa kwa njia ya demokrasia. Iyo ni language ya watu ma dictator. Please. Wachana na hiyo story. Wacha wa Kenya waamue. Huyu mtu yako project yako ya kitendawili tutamumalizia tarehe 9 mwezi wa 8 na ataenda nyumbani.